you know, it's amazing. To, I try to figure out like how these little peas got these black little spots on it. You know, is it a God made them like that? You know, where did they get these? Where eyes? did they get these little eyes from? You know. Hi guys, you're watching How To Foodie Nation, where all the flavors of Trin Begonian cuisine come to life. Today, we'll be doing a traditional black-eyed peas and rice. So let's get cooking. Kezi, black-eyed peas and rice. Tradition. And that is so important, especially here in our country, mm -hmm. that we follow traditions. And uh, I think it's, it's part of our food culture. It is. Especially uh, Ola's night, yeah. when you have to make your black eyed peas and rice and invite your friends. It has to be the first meal of the new year. Like 1201, put that rice grain it's, in it's, your mouth. It's good luck and prosperity, yeah? It is. And, and we believe in that. A lot of the elders have told me about it because when I told mm -hmm. them I was making it on the show, they were pretty excited and they said, yes, it is a must. Yeah, my granny still ensures that we do it every year. You have to be home to eat your black eyed peas and rice. So let's do it, right? Okay. Let's get started. We have all the ingredients here mm -hmm. and we're going to break it down for you guys. So hopefully you'll make it. Okay. Cover off. Woo, pot sizzling, girl. Pot already. All right. You need to put some vegetable oil inside there. Okay. So every dish we more, more or less starting when you're making these one pot dishes like rice and peas dishes, they always start mm -hmm. with the fat inside there. Yeah? Of course. So you get the oil going on inside there. Yeah? We right. have it on high temperature. Mm -hmm. I want you to put a little bit of brown sugar inside there. Yeah? So go ahead, okay. scatter it evenly. And this is to bring a little bit of color to the rice. Yes, black eyed peas and rice, the rice tends to be a little white. Mm -hmm. I just want to build on a little bit of the flavor profile there and also on the color of the sugar. Come on out. So it has a little bit of character. It's giving you trouble already. Yeah, you fight the middle. But uh, how, how, how do you go fight your dog? Sugar sweet. <laughs> it's a lover's food. Sorry, <laughs> You're going to let that go for about two minutes. Okay. In the meantime, let's talk about some of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Simple aromatics that we are custom here in Transbago. Right. When I think of black eyed peas and rice, it leverages almost similarly on pilau. Yeah. Pilau, okra rice, all those things that combine flavors, right? It's, peas go together. And I've learned that actually uh, throughout the Caribbean, they do uh, black eyed peas. Yeah. I know in Guyana they do it also. I mean, people call it different things because other than black eyed peas and rice, you could call it cook up rice. There yeah, you go. Mm -hmm. And that works very well. So I know definitely, even though we call it that, wherever you're watching this right now, you all may have a similar dish. Same thing. And that's why we're bringing everyone together and showcasing our different food cultures. Yeah? Okay. Are we looking there nice inside there? Starting to turn a little color. All right, now, this... we not letting this go as far as stupid. No, 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 no. Okay. So, what was going to happen is that as it develops a little bit more or less in the next 30 seconds, we're going to right. add our onions and pimentos and so forth. Mm -hmm. I, think I think you're looking there. Yeah, you're looking there. You can see. Yes, you want a time, you know, you make pot peel out on this dish. So, we're going oil, in onions into our oil, that is. Mm -hmm. We're going with the aromatics again. I have garlic, pimentos, and celery. And you would know, and all of our Trinbegonians outside there know that basically all these aromatics that we use in to start our basis of our dishes in terms of rice and peas, pilau, pilaps, okra rice, they all start with a... Same base. Same base. Aromatics that are very sweet. Garlic, celery, carrots, and all these things. They become complex and nice. You want to let that saute a little bit for about okay. two minutes. Mm -hmm. The sugar does aid in bringing out some of the sweetness inside here, and hence the reason why I decided to start with it. Nice, it's, ar it's aromatic, right? Mm -hmm. You're getting the smells coming in there. Yep. Now, what I would like to do is we have some diced carrots. Right. You just add a little bit of color into the rice. <laughs> Your parrot excited. He is ready for I tell that you, black eyed peas. I, I tell you, if you watch yourself, you might admire too. Not real black eyed peas and parrot rice. Right? Because <laughs> he doesn't like when I say that. She loves her parrot dearly. This and man is always <laughs> threatening my parrots. <laughs> When I come by Kessie, that part is look at me hard, you know. <laughs> Cock cut. What next? <laughs> well, okay, I won't waste your time. <laughs> time for time. So we're putting some fine time inside there. Okay. Feel free to put it inside just as that because yes. what happens is that the leaves do come out from the stems. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can just pull the stems out. By all means. I was either that or you'll just be flossing and eating at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin. And guys, pumpkin is something that we have year wrong. What I do, I take the liberty of a. Uh, Cleaning the pumpkin, peeling it, and I put it in my freezer. So whenever I need pumpkin for my pilafs, pilaus, rice and peas, black eyed peas and rice, you name it, you just pull out a piece and put it inside it. Pumpkin doesn't turn bad, pretty much. So Chef, I noticed that you put these things at a different time. So we started with our onions and then eventually graduated to pumpkin and carrot. Why not all at once? Right. So in the beginning, more or less because we had the sugar present, I yes. didn't want to turn the color of the carrots to turn that brownish tinge. I still okay. want the colors of the carrot to pop, to have mm -hmm. that vibrant orange 
color as it's known for. Right. So timing is everything. Mm -hmm. Sugars do have, uh, carrots do have a great amount of sugar in there. Okay. So I didn't want to like squinch it down and get it too sweetie. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're going in with um, Shalom Benny. Our best friend in the kitchen. Yes. That looks great. So again, building on the flavors, the Shadow Benny is pungent. As you would know, it's called culantro. Mm -hmm. So if you cannot find Shadow Benny, culantro works well. If you can't find culantro, cilantro. It's pretty, a close substitute. It's, it's a close substitute that you could go with it. Mm -hmm. Now, Kezi, as you have this here, yes. we're going in for the next two minutes okay. to allow those flavors to build now. As you see, a melody of colors. Mm -hmm. So we know our uh, peas and rice, our black eyed peas and rice is going to have character. Yeah, it's already colorful it's already. Good looking. Talking about good looking, this is where the flavor starts to come in, girl. Now, this is the best part of the pot. I like where you're going. And this is what I spoke to some of the elders about. They told me, a lady in my heart, and she said, yeah, you gotta put some pigtail in that rice, mm. you know. I mean, if you don't want it, you well, could you omit it. Don't eat meat. You could leave it out. Smoke bones work well, pigtail work well. But black eyed peas and rice typically usually has some sort of flavoring agent inside of it. Yeah. Um, we just, uh, you know, we, we like pigtail. We like we love pigtail. pigtail. <laughs> So we must have. That is pre-boiled, ladies and gents. I cut it into like half inch cubes, boil them to remove some of the extra salt inside there mm -hmm. because they are intensely pickled with salt. Right. So you want to let this go for about three minutes, allow that to flavor the aromatics that we added on earlier on because that's going to be a huge flavor foundation for our rice later on when we add that in. So we leave in the sun covered? Yeah, for about two minutes. Okay. The star ingredient, mm -hmm. black eye peas. Black we going inside, they can't make black eyed peas and rice without black eyed peas. I mean, black eyed peas have such an interesting texture. I, I agree with you, it's very buttery. Yes. And uh, you know, it's amazing. To, I try to figure out like how these little peas got these black little spots on it. <laughs> you know, is it a God made them like that, you know? Where did they get these Where eyes? did they get these little eyes from, you know? Yeah. Uh, we are going in with our rice also at the okay. same time. So just sprinkling it inside there. And uh, typically, what you're gonna do is mix this up. Allow it to go for about five minutes at high heat. With until, no water? No, no water at this point. Okay. Allow it to start to thirst, to, to start to stick to the bottom of the pan. Uh, very, less, very similar concept to any one pot rice and peas based dish. Mm -hmm. You want to ensure that all those great flavors that we sorted in the fat earlier on, in terms of the salty, ar the salty pigtail, the aromatics, mm -hmm. it's absorbed into rice. So when it starts to stick, that's when we're going to start to introduce our water and so forth inside. Okay. So leave that uncovered for about five minutes and then we're going to check back on it. Okay. I'm hearing some sizzling action underneath there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's starting to stick, right? Yes, yeah, it's okay. sticking to the bottom. Once that happens, that's good. Nothing is wrong with that. It means that it's thirsty. Time for a little bit of moisture. Now making this kezian, mm -hmm. you could use uh, water. Okay. I like to use vegetable stock because it's more flavorful. Mm -hmm. And to that, I add uh, some coconut milk inside there. Oh. You know, we always uh, try to make things Caribbean centric. So we get some complex flavors there in the stuff. Um, yes, I, uh, I always believe that, listen, we know what tastes good, what flavors work well in certain dishes. Mm -hmm. Food is something that obviously you could tailor it. Yeah. And it's a philosophy. Yeah. What you like in terms of the ingredients, put it inside there. Make it work for you. So we're going in with our liquid now. Nice. Looks good, huh? Beautiful. So you're gonna make sure to get all those stuff. Scrape bits. the bottom of the pan as I've always taught you. Mm -hmm. Whatever little slight caramelized bits underneath there. Getting get it out because all that is good love. You all know when you bake macaroni pie yeah. or you bake chicken and little things stick to the bottom of the pan. All those burnt bits are the best. That is what it is. That's what it is. We're gonna add more flavor now. I have mm -hmm. some chili, some paprika inside there. Okay. It's important for me to put this in now because as uh, the rice cooks, it's gonna absorb and gelatinize and swell. So mm -hmm. I wanted to mm -hmm. actually usher in these flavors. Okay. Okay, um, let me add a little bit of salt inside there also. Please and thank you. Uh, some black pepper. We could also add this a little later on also to adjust the flavors. Right. Again, we want to make sure that the dish is complex and fully seasoned at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So Kezi, what we need to do now is put in the ubiquitous bad boy of Trinidad and Tobago. Or Always scorpion, our scorpion pepper. Um, this is just going to flavor it lightly. Mm -hmm. It's not going to burst or anything of that nature. So it's just to put inside it, our flotation device. Drop them in. Beautiful. Good to go. Because you want to cover this, you want to okay. bring it to a boil. It okay. takes about eight to 10 minutes to come to a boil. Once right. it comes to a boil, you're going to reduce the temperature to medium mm -hmm. and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes at that nice, slight bubbling consistency. So uncovered or covered at the end? You're keeping it covered at this point in time. Okay. All right. So once it comes up to the boil, mm -hmm. bring it down to medium right. and keep it covered still. 
continue to cook it for an additional 15 to 20 minutes. All right. So that's pretty much it. We'll check back on it. So Kezi, after about 15 to 20 minutes, this is what we're looking at. Mm. A nice mm. moist preparation. The Ooh. beans have cooked down nicely inside there. As you can see, it has a great amount of moistness inside there. Yes. Now, ladies and gents, Pretty much, if you leave this and let it sit for about five minutes, it's gonna get dry on you. It's not a problem if you want it like that. A little, sometimes people want their black eyed peas and rice, so they peel out a little more drier. Yeah. It's not a problem. Because it's a carbohydrate, rice and peas will obviously suck up liquid and, and it absorb. will get. Mm -hmm. So, my thing about it is that I make it like this, and uh, you could leave it, it cook for about a two, three minutes to dry up a little bit. Okay. While it's vulnerable at this point, yes. Kesian, we need to season it up. Okay. But what do we need? to put it in. So you need to taste it. I need to taste it. Remember we added a black pepper salt, a paprika chili inside there. It has the salted uh, pigtails inside there already also, and a load of aromatics. So this is where we adjust the flavors on point. Did I pass? Did I pass? It's, I it's mean, good? It's nice? I think we're good, you know. I think we're good as is. You get this? Yeah. Okay, so now this is where we just put in a little bit of the salted butter. Yes. This is condition it and give it the shine. Yes. People, we're going into the new year. You know, you gotta start right, you gotta start rich. Is this prosperity and luck mm. and richness in the vibe? And love. <laughs> and Chef, you know some people don't like salt, but... Uh, Omit it, it's not a problem. You don't have to. My thing about it is it conditions the rice really well. It gives it that nice luxurious feel yes. and that's very important. Especially in rice dishes or pilaf dishes. Mm -hmm. We tend to add somewhat of a, maybe cream at the end or some butteriness to the right. end. Right. And immediately you can see it has a nice shine on it. It's a resplendence. Yes, it's the new year going to 2020, people. <laughs> and Let me start it with a bang. You know what I mean? We're going into the new year with resplendence. With resplendence. Right? Got it. But that's what people dress up when you see they go into all the, the, the big, oh, there's night fete and stuff. Nice so shiny. you're dressing up the rice. Let me tell you all something, ladies and gents. 31st of December is my birthday. Yes, I'm a Capricorn. I was born on the last day of the year. So when you see I get excited over dishes around this time, this you can. It's birthday food. It's birthday food, you know? This is something I like. So, yes, 31st of December, ladies and gents, Chef Jason was born. Happy birthday in advance. Thank you, so, thank you so much, my dear. So, any more black pepper and salt, or are we good there? No, nah, I think we're good, you no, know, we did, boy. We added earlier on. Yeah, yeah. Right? We so, added sufficiently, and I think this salt butter will really just pull it all together. All right. So, you know what? It's time to play this up, and we're time for us to take a little taste. Kezi? I think your daddy and my granny <laughs> would be very proud of this dish. Yes, uh, this is definitely owed to our elders, mm -hmm. uh, especially in Trinidad and Tobago, and uh, a good old as night you bring the family across the friends people who have been there to for the you know the course of the year yeah. and uh, celebrate with them make black eyed, peas, black eyed peas and rice yeah of course of course and uh, i mean i could see why we would sit down on a really beautiful uh january 1st as soon as the 1201 as. and you have with a nice hot plate of this and reminisce and talk about what's coming up for the upcoming year yeah we love to you know bond and be together and talk about our hopes and dreams actually guys tell us what are your new year's wishes what yes. are you your new year's goals and your dreams tell us in the comments below but before that we need to taste <laughs> we need to taste because i mean this looks really good i'm seeing the pigtail inside there that yeah. beautiful pepper you put inside there, the carrots everything i want to get some rice first though just to get that rice and the peas oh, look at that beautiful Mmm, you know, it's creamy. Stop the presses. Stop. Mm. Come on, man, you just tell the people that we're going to try to share oh, yeah, in the new I, year. I change your mind, guys. You, change it, you see? Kezi, I was really I hoping for a new mind. year, Kezi would behave better, but you know, hey, more Kezi on how no. to. Wanting to eat all the food. This is incredible. So much flavor, guys. You get that pumpkin, you get that carrot, you get that. Nice hint of shadow does in there. Yes, and you can you realize that the heat inside there is a must. Yeah. You probably pepper. It's nice and warm. It's inviting. It makes me think of family. You know the beans, as I mentioned earlier on, the beans are very buttery. So mm -hmm. as they break down, it's a nice creamy nice texture. Nice creaminess texture going on inside there. And that's yes. a great aspect. I guess that's why um, you know, this is fair and very dear to a lot of people, especially mm -hmm. the elders in Trinidad and Tobago. That nice nostalgic feeling. Yeah boy. I mean so, um, it's gonna be a brilliant. It's gonna be a brilliant year coming. It up. will be such Ooh. a fantastic year, guys. We want to wish you a happy, happy, happy 2020, and we're gonna see you in 2020 with much, much, much more how tos from Foodie Nation. But don't forget, hit that little subscription bell below. Mm -hmm. Give us a like, share the video. Yeah. And uh, you know, great things because we are gonna be doing even greater stuff in the new year. Mm -hmm. So stick so with we'll us. So we'll see you next year, guys. Bye bye.